It's the final episode of Longdendale Tales. And if you've made it this far, then thank you so much for joining me on this crazy journey of podcasting pretty much every day in March 2023. I'm at the foot of a tunnel and I have followed various paths uh, along roads to a dam. And I've come back to where I ended a podcast just a few days ago uh, with Janet and with Bob. I've come back to the old house tunnel. I felt like a tunnel was an adequate place for me to finish this podcast series for today's Sunday soundscape. I like the fact that at the foot of this tunnel there are birds, there is a path, there's gates, I can see the water in the distance, there's the tunnel reminding you of the railway, of what's been here before, Um, and there are even the old marker points as well. I feel like this just pulls the whole project all together. Above me, of course, there are pylons as well. So I've just finished recording the soundscape, which I'll play to you in a moment. And today's soundscape, well, I walk in and out of the tunnel. Um, It's quite wet. It's quite slippy. You can hear the rain dropping inside the tunnel. You can even at the start and the end hear the sound of the pylons. If you listen closely, that electric buzz. Um, And I thought that was something that perhaps I shouldn't ignore, but acknowledge that the pylons are here and the electricity is here above us, as I was talking with uh, Janet and Bob the other day. It's quite an eerie place, actually, this tunnel. And uh, Janet had said to me the other day that there were some spooky stories connected to it. So I went and had a little bit of a, a look around to see what I could find. And uh, there is one particular story I found online which talks about the old house tunnel and it says enter at your own risk. Years ago the old house was demolished to make way for the railway. They cleared the house before it was demolished save for a small kitten called Hero. The young lady of the house despaired so much of her lost cat that she put a curse on those who now tread the path of the railway. To this day if one listens and crooks an ear to the wind you can hear the wind sing kitty 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 over and over again perhaps as you listen to this soundscape you might hear the word kitty (laughs) i don't know whether i did when i was recording all of a sudden the birds have got really loud all around me i did just want to finish with some words as i seem to end up doing on sundays of people who I read about walking and writing and paths and being outdoors. Robert McFarlane wrote a brilliant book called The Old Ways. And in it, he talked and dedicated a whole chapter to talk about paths. And I thought this so perfectly sums up exactly what I've been doing over the last few weeks in following all these different routes, these different paths, joining up dots, joining up people, joining up stories of past and present. And there was one particular section of the book where he wrote this. As I walk paths, I often wonder about their origins, the impulses that have led to their creation, the secrets they keep of adventures, meetings and departures. And I suppose this is a departure of my own as I come to the end of the series. Yet there have been so many meetings, so many adventures that have drawn me to make new friends, to get a deeper understanding of the landscape in a way that I will never ever walk the Longdendale Trail through the same eyes ever again. I hope as you enjoy this final soundscape that you get to enjoy the splishing, the splashing, the drops of the rain and bid you farewell and encourage you to continue to explore, to share and to get in touch with me on our Longdendale Tales digital map website. Bye for now, but hopefully we might just meet again.